Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick update on my rainwater harvesting system. Particularly I'll show you my proof of concept for running my toilets off of rainwater. Now it's proof of concept because I don't I only have this set up right now to show you guys how I made this happen. I have an application to fill out for our homeowners association uh, then to be able to, to find out how they would like me to shield this. Uh, because I have to have them stacked in order to run my my toilets. And I do not have the pump that will pump the water to the toilet yet. What I've done is just filled this up with the water hose for today to show you how this works. Uh, you can see I have a T there on the lower third of that two inch pipe. There's a water hose uh, fitting as well. Uh, where, that, where that T's off into a one inch pipe it wraps right around that tank and then enters into the house. Here you can see where that uh, one inch pipe is, is coming behind the tanks here and then from that one inch it changes to half inch um, and then that, that pokes in right um, through the house and right beside my toilet. I'll take you inside and I'll show you how I have that set up. Alright so we're in the restroom and you can see here I have the window open. There are the tanks right here beside the house they're just about four or five inches away okay down here you'll see where I've um, poked a hole through the wall and I've I have my own toilet hook up here you can see right now it's currently hooked up to the city water uh, this other one here this is mine so uh, I'll switch this over and I'll show you how it works okay just something I forgot to mention when you take this off, you want to make sure to cut your water off. All you'll be doing is turning this to the right. And you'll see here, this is how it hooks up. It's just a, I believe this is half inch. So let me show you real quick too. I am going to, going to um, just turn on mine here to show you the pressure coming out of it. Okay, that's enough. I'll get everything really wet. <clears throat> okay, so you can see it has quite a bit of pressure, but really, I only have about three and a half to four pounds of pressure uh, in this line, and this line here has about uh, 55 to 60 pounds of pressure. Okay, now I have uh, the toilet hooked up to my water supply line, and now when I flush it, it should fill the toilet back up. So we have a problem. <clears throat> it is not filling back up. And I don't know why. So now what I've done is uh, I troubleshot the problem. Uh, this piece here, this is funny, it's actually called a ball cock valve. And there's a little seal that fits right here. This happens to be my problem. Okay, so here is... Um, the biggest problem with attempting to run your toilets off of rainwater in um, in America, at least in a or a first world country. <clears throat> Here, I'm, I'm about to show you how I did get the toilet to work. Here is the seal that uh, allows my toilet to run off of rainwater. Here is the seal that it came with. They are virtually the same. In fact, they are in shape uh, identical or actually I take that back, virtually identical. Uh, the biggest difference is this seal, the one out of my toilet, it operates on eight pounds of pressure. Uh, and this is used in all first world countries. This seal operates on low pressure and operates at, uh, starts to operate at two pounds of pressure. And if you remember, I said earlier, I have about three and a half to four pounds of pressure. So this 50 cent piece allows my toilet to either work or not work. Okay, so now I have the seal changed out and I'm gonna give this uh, another try and see how it works. Uh, and there you can see it's working. 
and uh, if you <clears throat> can't notice, it does come out slower. It takes, I would say, about twice, uh, maybe about twice the length of time to uh, to fill the toilet with water. So it, it may take about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes to fill the toilet. And I'd like to give a big thank you to Fluid Master. Uh, I called their technical support and they informed me right away that this one operates on eight pounds, this one operates on two pounds. Not only that, they sent me four seals for free with free shipping just to see this project work. So thank you Fluid Master and I hope this inspires a few of you to conserve water and to maybe build your own rainwater harvesting system. Thanks and have a great day.